All right. Well, Mr. Ellis, I think I figured out what the problem is. There's a puddle of fluid behind the retina, which I think is responsible for your visual impairment that you reported. And to help me figure out exactly where the fluid is coming from, I want you to have a fluorescein angiogram. What is that? Fluorescein your ophthalmologist has recommended a diagnostic procedure that can help to detect some details about your eye condition that would otherwise be difficult or impossible to detect. The name of the procedure is fluorescein angiography. In order to understand fluorescein angiography, it is important that you be familiar with the anatomy of the eye. Most of the eye cavity is filled with a jelly-like substance known as vitreous. To see an object, light passes through the cornea, lens, and vitreous, and is focused on the rear wall of the eye, called the retina. The retina is made up of thousands of light-sensitive cells which capture the object's image. These cells send information along the optic nerve to the brain. The critical central portion of the retina is the macula. The macula is responsible for our straight ahead or central vision, which we use for everyday activities such as reading, driving, and sewing. If the blood vessels which nourish the macula become aged or diseased, you can lose much of your ability to read fine print and see small objects. In time, vision can become blurry, leading to loss of central vision if untreated. The fluorescein angiography examination enables your ophthalmologist to detect the presence of many conditions involving the blood vessels or pigment cells within the retina. In addition, angiography permits localization of the blood vessel abnormalities so that, in some cases, treatment can be performed. During the test, a water-soluble solution called fluorescein dye is injected into the bloodstream. The dye fills the blood vessels in the back of the eye. Because of its fluorescent quality, it glows in response to light. In this case, when the flash of the camera goes off during the examination. The fluorescein dye, like other solutions used in diagnostic examinations, is a contrasting agent that highlights those bodily areas intended for testing. However, Fluorescein dye contains no iodine or radioactive substances and therefore is less likely to cause allergic reactions. In the rare instances when an allergic reaction might occur, it could include nausea, hives and itching, difficulty in breathing, and very, very rarely anaphylactic shock, a serious allergic reaction which can lead to death if untreated. Anaphylactic shock occurs when one is allergic to and receives a particular type of serum, such as penicillin, or a bee sting. The medical team performing your examination would immediately treat this were it to occur. It is also generally recommended that an expectant mother wait until the delivery of her baby before having the examination. Mr. Ellis, my name is Judy Bell. I'm going to be your photographer today. You're going to have a fluorescein angiogram. Your doctor may advise that you not eat anything prior to the angiography exam. In order to obtain the best photographs, you will be given eye drops prior to the exam to dilate your pupils. This will cause some blurriness in your vision for several hours. It's important that you keep your chin all the way forward in the chin rest. You may feel a mild sensation of nausea. This occurs if you have even the slightest bit of nausea, Tell your physician or the photographer. You will be allowed to rest for a moment. You will be instructed to sit as still as possible for a few moments after the injection to allow the dye to pass through the blood vessels in the back of the eye. Have you had any reactions to any medications or any dyes before this test? No. Okay. Ready? You will then be given the injection of fluorescein dye by either your physician, a nurse, or a certified technician. 
going to place a tourniquet on your upper arm. Okay, and you have a good vein right there. I'm going to clean it off with a little bit of alcohol. Wipe it off. Then I'm going to place this small needle. You'll feel a pin prick. Keep your chin in the chin rest. And when I'm done, I'll bend your arm. If a small amount of the dye is released outside the vein in your arm, a temporary soreness or irritation may develop. Okay, Mr. Ellis, we're ready to take the photographs now. I'd like you to rest your chin on the chin rest and tilt your forehead to touch the bar. I'd like you to watch this small target light in front of your right eye. I want you to keep your eyes open at all times. You can blink when you need to, but open wide and look right back at the target. Okay. That's very good. Inject. Let me know if you have any burning or stinging. While the flash is bright, remember to blink quickly when you must. Excellent. And keep your eyes wide open as much as you can. The exam usually takes no more than 20 minutes. However, it will take 24 to 48 hours before the fluorescein dye is discharged from your system. Until then, your skin and urine may take on a yellow-orange color. Now, I want to go over the fluorescein pictures with you, Mr. Ellis. For orientation, I'm going to show you your right eye first. That's the good eye. And here's the center of the macula. As soon as the film is developed, your ophthalmologist will discuss with you the appropriate course of treatment, if any, which is necessary. Has unimpaired vision and a normal looking macula. In comparison, we have the left eye where your vision is impaired, and we can see both fluid and blood in the very center. Fluorescein and geography is a simple, reliable, and accurate method for the diagnosis of eye problems that for the 20 minutes it takes to do could help save your eyesight for the rest of your life.